Converting units of time. In order to convert units of time, you must first know how these units relate to each other. Here is a list of time relationships that you need to know. You likely already know most of them, but work on learning the ones you do not. 60 seconds equals 1 minute. 60 minutes equals 1 hour. 24 hours equal 1 day. 7 days equal 1 week. 12 months equal 1 year. 52 weeks equal 1 year. 365 days equal 1 year. 366 for leap years. 10 years equal 1 decade. 100 years equal 1 century. 1,000 years equal 1 millennium. When it comes time to actually do a conversion, follow this rule. Large to small, multiply. Small to large, divide. This means that if you are trying to take a larger unit and convert it to a smaller unit, you must multiply. But if you're starting with a smaller unit and converting it to a larger one, divide. Examples How many hours are in eight days? We want to convert eight days into hours. Days are larger than hours, so since we are going from large to small, we must multiply. But multiply by what? To determine this, think how many hours are in a day. There are 24 hours in a day, so we will multiply 8 by 24. 8 times 24 equals 192. There are 192 hours in 8 days. Adam's dad has been alive for 60 years. How many decades is that? We are trying to convert 60 years into decades. Years are smaller than decades, so we're going from small to large. That means we must divide. Since there are 10 years in a decade, we'll divide by 10. 60 divided by 10 equals 6. Adam's dad has been alive for six decades. How many seconds are in four hours? This one is a little more challenging since we don't necessarily know how many seconds are in an hour. If you do, that's great, but you don't need to know that number. We'll just do the conversion in two steps. Convert hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. To convert four hours to minutes, we must first realize we're going from large to small. So we'll need to multiply. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So we'll multiply by 60. 4 times 60 equals 240. 
There are 240 minutes in four hours. Now, we need to convert 240 minutes to seconds. Since minutes are larger than seconds, we're once again going from large to small, and we'll need to multiply. Since there are 60 seconds in a minute, we're once again multiplying by 60. 240 times 60 equals 14,400. There are 14,400 seconds in four hours. Here is what you have learned so far.